It's recording. Oh. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> start it over. <laughs> okay. I am in Brooklyn visiting my daughter, Shay. So we decided to go to, what was it? Industry? Industry? Industry City. Industry City. Japan Village. Japan Village. And we got some Japanese snacks, I'm assuming they are. So we're just going to do like a first impression of Japanese snacks. So we'll start with the first one here. You want to start with the big one? Sure. Okay, the first one. What is this called? These ones are like, they look like cheese rolls. It says corn potage. Potage? Potage. Potage. I don't like know. It looks rolls. like it might be hot or something because it's got like this little, see that little guy down here in the corner? He looks like he's like warning us that it's hot. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> If I open it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, we'll just they're weird looking. Look at it looks like a little It looks like a lemon. And it's got like seasoning on it. It's kinda yeah. You can see. Alright. One, two, three. It tastes like corn. It's it like does. A, it's like a cream corn flavored cheese doodle. Like it tastes like corn on the cob. Oh, duh. Look, see? There's corn on the cob right on the packaging. <laughs> well, I figured that's just because it's that's made pretty out good. of corn. Like cheese doodle lunch. You can even taste the butter. Mm -hmm. Another one? Okay. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that one. But I, let's see. We did a big one, so we should do a little one now. This one's cute. Those are called honey something, right? Yeah, with a little frog. It's cute. What does it say at the bottom? Kawaii cookies. Kerr, what, huh? Kawaii cookies. Kawaii cookies, but what's this? I have no idea Kur, how to say that. Karakaropi? Karakaropi? I don't know. You guys, you guys can tell us how to pronounce that at the bottom. <laughs> I think we need scissors to open it. Oh, it figures. It does have scissors. Just, just pull it. Okay, we need scissors. Be right back. We got scissors now. You should have thought of that. Oh, you cut his eyeballs. Don't give me one. Don't start until I do. Too late. Okay. Those are really good. I feel like these would be good as cereal. These corn are going put some milk on They're it. a little, yeah, they're a little dry. I think they do need like milk or something. They're like little, I don't know if you can see. Little cookie looking things. They're like, I'm not mad at them. Sweet but crumbly. Yeah. All right, we got anything crazy in here? What the heck is that? Those are the soy sauce fry things. See, it says butter soy sauce fry cut potato crisps. They look like French fries. I picked these. Don't they? Out. Yeah, and this one actually has like English wording all over the package, so I don't know if these are actually Japanese or not. But they were at Japan Village. Well, they got Japanese wording back there. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Look. See? Look at that little guy back there. They look happy. Hopefully these will taste happy. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Is there such a thing as tasting happy? <laughs> they look like french fries. Like from McDonald's or something. Look at that. Oh, it's yeah. Like, they do. It's a french fry. That was really good. It looks just like a french fry. But it's not hot or soft. Mmm. Mm. I like those. It tastes like a mm. french fry with soy sauce. They do. They so actually taste a, like they're fried too. Kind of a stale french fry, but I'm not, I'm not mad about that. Mmm. They're good. Okay. We pretty much have done salty stuff. What else have we got in here? We have two different kinds of cookies. 
I'm saving them for last because they look good. <laughs> Let's try this. That was Hello Kitty. Sanrio characters. Yeah, Hello Kitty's on there. I don't know why it's called Sanrio. San, she's San a Sanrio character. She's a Sanrio character. Oh, is that what she is? Yeah. But that's what it looks like. Very cute. They kind of look like little the back. pebbles. It just says rice cracker and it has chocolate in it. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Wait! They have a they have a strong smell. I don't know what the smell is though. I guess it's chocolate. Mmm. Mm. That was good. They melted a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, they're like You know what they remind me of? Mm. Remember that cheap cereal I used to buy you all the time and make you guys eat it and it turned the milk to chocolate? Mm-hmm. But it's got like more of an actual chocolate coating, not just like chocolate powder. They were called, they were knockoff of Cocoa Puffs. Mm -hmm. Malto brand, Malto or something. I don't know. Yeah. But it's like that, but coated in like real chocolate, like a chocolate bar. I keep going in that camera here. Well, painting. How's that look? Do you see me now? <laughs> okay. Mm, which one do you want to do first? Not sure. Is that what this one is? No. no that's Nior. 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 No, those are like strawberry or something. Oh, okay. Black. Oh, the, the package. <laughs> I was trying to read it. This is what they are. It says cook, soft cookie on them. Black cocoa. I have no idea what the green stuff. It's matcha. Where does it say that? It's say just, it. you know that you're just it's, assuming it is because it's green yeah because everything that's green in japan is matcha flavored <laughs> plus that's what that powdered stuff in the background of the picture is it's matcha you're gonna laugh if it tastes like mint okay <clears throat> okay there you go oh, they're individually wrapped too oh isn't that cute here. that's what they look like Dun, dun, dun. They're a little, they look like little moon pies. Don't they? Beep. Cheers. It's matcha. Well, I couldn't tell you because I don't know what matcha is supposed to taste like. <laughs> like that. But they taste good. <laughs> it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I'm okay with matcha, but I like, I'm gonna try the strawberry because I think that's better. I'm so chewing. <laughs> Don't wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <sighs> it sticks to the roof of your mouth a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're good though. Alright, here you do it. Obviously, I'm not strong enough. A little gingham pattern. That is cute. Look at that. Super cute. Oh, this is what the front of the package looks like. It's just got it's a on it. strawberries or whatever. What is it? Strawberry. Strawberry? strawberry? Look, strawberry. Oh, strawberry. <laughs> okay. Same thing again, just different color on the inside. Actually, it looks more white than pink. Oh, they even smell them though. Oh, oh wow. wow. They're strong. What's that hard thing in the middle? I think it's got like jam or something in the middle. It doesn't taste as strong as it smells. Mm -mm. It's interesting. It's not bad, but I actually like the other, the green one a little better actually. Yeah, I think so too. I don't mean to scowl. I look terrible when I do that. I'll hold them so they don't do that anymore. <laughs> okay. We weren't stupid. We did get a drink to wash this all down when in the store. Yeah, but we have to figure out how to open it. But. Okay, it has directions. It has directions on how. I, we have no idea. 
Detach the plunger from the center of the cap. It has a plunger in it. So that's different. Now what do you do? You detach the plunger. That is the plunger. You detached it. No. This is the plunger. Do 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 do. There. See? See, that helped. You detach the plunger from the center of the cap. This is the plunger. You okay, well, you, gotta, you gotta show them how to do it. In case they ever get one. So you take this part out of the center of the cap, and then you put the plunger over this. Then it says, on top of the bottle, press down firmly with the base of your palm. Okay. So you put this on top, you me, and then- You want me to hold? Why, what if you do it over there? So then you, I don't want to wear it. It's not gonna, you don't want to wear it. Put it on a hard surface here. Here, you try it. You gotta put it on a hard surface. Okay. And then, hopefully. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna drink any of this because we can't open it. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. It's like, look, it's putting a dent in my hand, trying to do it. Do you have a hammer? <laughs> See, it's not, re it's not. In the meantime, I'm gonna have another one of these. Oh, ha! holy moly, that sounded crazy. Okay, never mind. She got it. So, you so press now, it down so then the marble is down here and then you take the plunger out. And now the little marble is in there. And then you can drink. But what does the marble do? Like, I don't understand. It just keeps it sealed. No, it doesn't do anything. It tastes... It doesn't taste very strongly like blueberry. It's supposed to be blueberry. Flavor. Is it? This is what it looks like. It says blueberry at the bottom. I know, I'm not too sure about it. it. Says it's carbonated. Yeah. Ramoon, ra ramoon drink. It just tastes like sort of like weak. It's like soda. It's like seltzer water. Yeah. Like Lacroix. I've never had a Lacroix. But I imagine. It's not. It, the like, first sip kind of is like, huh? And the second one's like, oh, okay, I get it. See you know what I mean? No. <laughs> of course you don't. I'm still, huh? Hey, you can't hey. rest. No. <laughs> uh, let me try it one more time. Yeah. Okay. I'd rather have my wine, to be honest with you. So anyway, that's our little video of tasting Japanese snacks and our first impressions. And I actually am quite impressed with it all. I thought I wasn't going to find really anything that was remotely... These are my favorites. Yeah, let's see what our favorites are. Hers are the corn on the cob. And I would have to say, because I'm more of a sweet tooth person, I like these. It's the tea, right? Matcha is mm -hmm. the green tea. Yeah. These are pretty good. Okay, we're gonna sign off. Bye.